Today we're going to look at the new compact mode for the Xbox app on Windows 11. Let's get to it. In the Windows handheld reviews that we do here, one of our consistent criticisms of that category is that Microsoft seems to have no interest in the current handheld boom that we're experiencing. Windows is optimized for mouse and keyboard, and honestly, it's great at that. For what it's worth, more often than not, Microsoft takes a developer-first stance with a lot of things, where they roll out the foundation technology and then let developers build on top of that. In that respect, developers are welcome to improve the handheld experience on the foundation that is Windows. And some have. You can install Play Night or LaunchBox and use those in full screen mode or simply use Big Picture mode in Steam. Hardware vendors like Asus, Lenovo, and One X Player have all added their own take on solving this as well. But Microsoft has their own PC gaming offering called the Xbox app. Confusingly, you can also use the Microsoft Store to get PC games, but that's for another video. The Xbox app is serviceable. It's largely focused on the Game Pass portfolio of games, and from the app, you can browse the catalog of games, install games, and get access to streaming options like cloud or local console. But unlike Steam, there is no big picture mode here. You can navigate the app UI with a controller, but attempting to do so is, at best, a frustrating and inconsistent experience. Hence our frequent comments about Microsoft's lack of consideration towards handheld gaming devices. They've inserted themselves into the PC gaming space, but their efforts seem tailored towards mouse and keyboard. So imagine my surprise when I opened the Xbox app on my game PC and saw this message after the most recent update. Compact mode. Turn on compact mode to optimize the app for handheld devices. I fired up the Rogue Ally, opened the Xbox app, took the update, and enabled compact mode. And, well, let's talk about it. You've always been able to navigate the Xbox app with a controller, but it wasn't a good experience. And for the most part, that hasn't changed in this compact mode update. To give you context, let's walk through what using a controller in the app is like. We'll switch to compact mode in a few, but it's worth noting that the navigation behaviors that I'm covering here apply in compact mode as well. Pressing up, down, left, or right on the D-pad felt like a constant game of trying to keep track of where you are in the app. Starting at the top from the Game Pass icon, pressing right takes you to the back arrow of the product page, but depending on your desktop resolution, it might take you directly to the top row of games. In the search field, pressing the A button doesn't invoke the virtual keyboard like it does on an Xbox console or Steam Big Picture mode. If you're on a handheld, you have to manually do that. Things start to get weird once you move to one of the main game rows. Oftentimes on consoles, you can press the left or right shoulder buttons to move left or right in rows like this. That's not the case here. It's all D-pad or left thumbstick. And all this does is move the location indicator from tab key spot to tab key spot. You can test this by pressing the tab key on your keyboard and watch the indicator move from spot to spot. So for the most part, this works, but feels pretty janky. But you've now entered the where am I on the page zone, and this feeling never goes away. In fact, it pretty much only gets worse. Most of your time from here on out is spent looking for that indicator. So let's spice things up by selecting a game, because now things get weird. When you select a game, the icon for where you were returns to the far top left of the app to your username, and you'll have to navigate back into the product page. Here I selected Killer Instinct. When I navigate back into the product page, I stop at the first tab spot, the back arrow. Pressing down from here takes you back to the menu bar on the left and places you at the Game Pass section, not down into the product page like you'd expect. From that back arrow, your only option is to press left, which takes you to the search box. Pressing down from here takes you to the art and video row. Pressing left or right from here doesn't move you through the pictures and video. It simply keeps moving you from tab spot to tab spot. Once again, where you end up after pressing left or right seems to be largely influenced by your desktop resolution. Gamepad navigation from my desktop PC to a rogue ally wasn't consistent because of this. At any rate, the more you hop around the UI here, the more you're going to run into the issue of keeping track of where the indicator is. And that's the core experience of navigating the Xbox app with a gamepad. So let's switch to compact mode and see what they've optimized for handhelds. You'll notice that the sidebar app condenses down to something that's a bit more visually appealing when on a handheld. 
But what this has done is added more steps to go through to get to your games. Here's what I'm talking about. In normal mode, your installed games are on the left menu bar, and pressing down on the D-pad takes you to them, and pressing the A button takes you into the product page where you can then launch the game. In compact mode, you select the My Library icon, and you might see your game in the jump back in row. If not, you have to navigate down to the My PC Game section and find your game there and select it, and then launch it. If you have a lot of games, you'll want to tick the installed box here to make finding things easier. It's worth calling out that this ticked box sometimes doesn't last between restarts of the Xbox app, so you'll have to tick it again at times. Either way, both of the options to get to your games have more steps in place in compact mode versus normal mode. This is kind of the opposite of optimizing something, and regardless of the changes, the rest of the navigation experience remains the same, meaning that it's nothing like using a controller to navigate Steam Big Picture mode or the Xbox UI. Aside from the sidebar change, I'm not sure what they mean by optimized. Everything feels and acts the same on the Rogue Ally as it does on my game PC. So if you're like me and were excited to see that Microsoft officially released something specifically for handhelds, you might want to adjust your expectations. While I'd love to see Microsoft add their own big picture mode that's essentially the Xbox UI on PC, compact mode isn't the UI you're looking for. Move along. Have you tried the Xbox app with just a controller? Are you seeing something different in this update than we are? Let's talk about it in the comments. And that about wraps things up. Please like this video if you found it useful, and subscribe to our channel if you want more content like this. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this, and we'll chat again soon.